Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Hotel Magnate where today we're going to be pushing the rooms to ultimate boundaries. We're going to hopefully upgrade all of them with their uh, current furnitures right now to the maximum that we can get, which is going to allow us then to charge top dollar. Now at the moment the hotel is a four star. I got two options. I could either do the rooms now, and then do all the other rooms and then get it to a five star and then redo them or i can maybe try and push it to a five star now so then when i go and edit the rooms i'm already getting the best of the best and i probably will never have to edit them ever again oh there's so many options we can kind of go with right now it's kind of exciting but anyway guys if you enjoyed the series and want to see more then please make sure you smash that like button down below if you are new in here make sure you do subscribe so you want to find out the next episode does come out now, we're currently sitting at 16,000 big ones in the bank. Last episode, we painted all the rooms, got everything all set up. We built our very own casino room right now, which is really, really handy. And I came to the conclusion that I can borderline get another two rooms, potentially three. I don't know how far I can actually go with the zoning right now here. And um, if I just kind of reconfigure this stuff there and reconfigure the reception slightly... But I also need to then be able to have the ability to pump in, if I go to build, no, is it build, manage? I can't remember what button it was i got to press right now to kind of make it all pop up. Um, there we go. i got to build the gym, and eventually, when I get five stars, the spa. I think once I build the gym, that will then unlock the ability to have a five-star hotel. So we're going to have to reduce the size of the current bar area right now. So we got to do some planning then on how we're going to approach doing this. It's going to require me deleting a fair few bits and bobs, which is not going to be the great thing right now. But I do have 19,000 in the bank, which will kind of slightly see me through. So, 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 so. We have the maintenance room. We have the housekeeping room. We have our reception room. Uh, and we have the bar. So what I'll do then is we'll keep what's going on over here as it is but what i will get rid of first if we go to the build mode i'm gonna get rid of the door can i sell the door goodbye by selling the door i can then rejig how i want some of these rooms to kind of be so if i kind of because the thing is i can kind of keep them as a part of the building so to speak i could do that for a huge corridor or I could do this for a corridor I could probably just keep it down to here so in reality what I've got to do is I've got to create my maintenance room and my laundry room so if I did that there right now is there a limit to the size these rooms need to be I don't think there is but let's say I kept this coming hmm because thinking about it now, because I'm going to redo this. I'll probably do like another corridor that goes across that way. Right, hold on. Hold on, guys. Because I'm about to break the game in all different ways. And how far I'm making this go up? Right, if I make this go up to... To there. Right, bear with me a second, guys. I'm going to pause the game because I'm about to do some ridiculous stuff right now. So I want to demolish walls. So all the walls are going. And we're going to re... Ooh, okay, that's going to kind of throw us off all completely, isn't it? Because that's meant to be the bar area. So I'm going to push the reception air room sideways here. So if I could do a wall room going across just there, a wall going across just there, and then if I go to demolish, so we're demolishing this wall here. That will be a corridor for these additional rooms there. And then this would be the entry section right now for the reception, which is literally going to change how we kind of sort things out. And then we'll have a probably like another corridor here. So we've got rooms there, rooms here. The, the shape of this hotel is <laughs> it's so ridiculous right now it is so ridiculous but it's we, we've got to do it guys we've we've got to low-key do it right now so with that said i've got my reception room all set up so when it comes to the doors then if i start the reception room and work our way in so doors are here doors 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 
So I could do a door centralized. I could do it there. Now we'll keep it centralized to the whole room in its entirety. If I move this real quick, and if I placed it like here, or up here. Now we'll place it here, like that. Now is this still a reception room? It is. I Do I have the ability to do anything better than what I've currently got? I do. I can place in, right, let me, let me scrap this one, sell that. And then reception desks, we've got one star, three star. So that's a three star here. So I could do, for example, that there. I could place another one in and create this little U shape. Doesn't really make much sense to anybody except us. This is gonna be glorious. So if I can then potentially squeeze in a little kind of room here so if i then go back to the build mode i've got it in my head if it's going to play out right i don't know so if i go across by a four and then down like that and then is there a center point the kind of low key is right let me just move this just there for a second i can put now with the build mode and the doors. What type of doors have we got down here? These normal doors. I could do a door here. And then a door here. And that becomes the maintenance room and the laundry room. So then all of a sudden I can delete th all this here. Extend with more bedrooms down straight away. Right. We'll put the entrance door to the hotel. Let's say there. Because you're going to walk in and walk through there. Then I've got all this space right now to put down the bar, the gymnasium, and the spa. If that's the other thing that I've got to place down. I think it is. I think it is. So if I chose this then to be, for example, um, our housekeeping. I've chose that one because it's kind of the closest one out of the two rooms to everything else. Uh, this will be the maintenance room. So what I've then got to do is move the washing machine to here move this shelf to over here and then it's a case of dismantling oh hang on let me first get rid of the rooms so get rid of the room all gone nice and then build mode literally get rid of the rooms like that so then we can bring this down, open it up as the rooms. I don't know how many we're going to actually be able to get in. It might be two, it might be three. It'd definitely be two, at least. But I don't know how the rest are going to play out. Oh, wait, where's that shelf? Oh, I didn't do the sh I, I accidentally sold the shelf, didn't I? Utilities. Oh, wait, there's all new stuff for the utility rooms. Oh, okay. Um, Right, hold on. Payphone. Oh, my goodness me, there's all this new stuff. Right, let me just get the tool shelf in, the minimum for the maintenance room. This is all new stuff that I haven't even looked at yet. So, what I then need to do is figure out a nice design right now to place in, obviously. Let me select it. Uh, the gym, the spa, and the, the bar, which I've currently got. So, build-wise... There's a couple of ways in which I can do it. I could bring this out to there. If I brought it out by two, if I did like a four by four, or I could do that. Do you know what? I could do this. Throw that in there. I like keep this quite open space. This will be better than what I'm trying to do right now. And then I can create four rooms coming off this. So I can obviously create a room here. I can obviously create a room there. And then we've got this big room here. I don't know out of the three which one's going to be this one. It all depends on how many objects I've got for like the gym or the spa or stuff like that. I feel like the bar is obviously going to be the smallest one because of what it is. Which will be this room here. So if I place one there, I can maybe squeeze another bar in. 
but then zone this to be the bar. This is currently a bar, and we delete. So let me just get all the doors in right now. <laughs> These are some serious expansions, boy. All right, just there. And then we're back to normal, right? Can I go then into play mode? Now, problem is, she doesn't know where to go. Because we've deleted the room that she was in. So I don't know whether we're able to make them assign staff to facility. How do I... Um... Right, you pause a second. Assign staff to facility. So housekeeping. Is she now done? I believe she is. So assign staff to facility. Maintenance. And where's that last one? Did I accidentally fire them? Are they now gone? I think they are. So quickly get a staff member. Hire. Just hire you for the sake of it. Right, we're back in business. Although this customer here. Can I kick them? Locate, open room. Have I got to delete this room? Build. She's stuck in the wall, isn't she? Right, what am I waiting for now? Right, what are you waiting for now? Is she still stuck? You're ruining my vibes, lady. There we go. She ruined my vibes. Uh, right, okay, so... Straight across. And then this... Oh, see, it's all messed up now, isn't it? Bar facility. You. Open facility. Why, why, what's going on now? What's going on now? We have a member of staff. Oh, a door! <laughs> uh, one day, guys. I know what I'm doing. Right, okay. So we're now technically at the same point we was before. But now we've got a little bit more room for expansions and maneuvering. So we've got, still got 23 grand in the bank right now, which is good. So, first things first then. I'll actually quickly decorate um, the flooring. So, bam, bam. Right there. Uh, of the maintenance rooms and stuff like that. The tiles. Uh, bam. Bam. There we go. Let me paint then the outside of the building. What colour walls is it? This wall like that. Make sure everything else is looking sweet. Yes, it is. Now, this is the problem I had last time. I couldn't figure out what the walls were. So, we're just going to go for this. I'll do the same just in here. The bar pattern, natural. Let's go for a wood effect in the bar. I don't know why, just feeling it. And then we'll go for a pattern, no, patterned, tiled, natural. Natural wood effect in the bar as well. Make it feel, oh, give it a woodland vibe. So I'll just sort out the flooring in here then. So plain colours. We'll go for like a cream carpet throughout the whole hotel. Just keep it simple. Walls are done. So all that's left to do right now then is these two rooms here. Which is going to be our gymnasium. And our spa. So if I chose this to be the gym. It's got multiple items. So yeah I think it was a good idea to make this the big boy. So if I place in a. Can I not do snap to grid. There we go. Actually, no. No snap to grid. Beautiful hot tub. Well, what's going on? Can't move. The game's frozen. Sediac. <laughs> right, there's one bench. Two bench. i got to put a door on it. Three bench. We'll do the one treadmill. So this is not as expensive as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be so much more expensive. Uh, we'll do some dumbbells right now. 
So bam, bam, and bam. And then we'll get some yoga mats. So we'll do yoga mat here. We'll do one of each. And I'll get them reasonably be spaced. So let's whack a door on it real quick. So place door. Bam, bam, there we go. Uh, paint the floor then. So I think we'll do like a, a tile floor. A tile floor, a pattern floor. Checkers. Modern. I could do a natural floor. Um... Or just kind of paint it like a, an off grey. Oh, no. We'll do tiled because of, like, it's a gym. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what the answer for that was. Right, I'll go for this. Uh, for walls, then. Do we go tiles again? Oh, we'll do, like, a little kind of turquoise colour. It looks kind of nice. So, we now have, guys, we now low-key have a gym in your boy's hotel. Now that doesn't scream amazing, continue Sadiac, because we gotta get more positive reviews in right now. So 20 positive reviews from the last 30 reviews with an 80% or above positive rating from four star reviews. That is quite a mouthful, isn't it? It is quite a mouthful. So when we go to the reviews then, um, average guest review. So it's their activities that are the lowest. So I'm wondering if now that we've got in uh the gym it's classed as more activities i don't know but it's also a case of is there any additional furniture that i'm kind of missing yes there is look at all this new stuff i can get in for like example the bar so sell you so for the bar then i'm gonna go for this modern for oh my goodness me this means your boy's bar needs to be bigger all right squeeze you in just there uh, a jukebox. We've got these little tables and chairs right there, which we don't probably need so much. But I'll get a jukebox in. Right, what's going on here? Is it too far over, do you reckon? Right, is that accessible? I believe so. So this makes the whole bar then a four-star area. Man, when did we unlock this? Let's go. Let's go. Um, so then the dining room. Actually, let me do the disco first because there's not really a lot going on over here. Dance floor. Is that really it? Uh, events. Can I throw a jukebox in there? I mean, we've got this old-fashioned jukebox for the music. Because if you think about it, what they really dance into? Nothing. A bar in the disco? Hold on. Hold on. Can I move this? If I move that over there. I mean, it makes sense to maybe put a bar in the disco area, whether or not they're going to utilize it. <clears throat> I don't know. But it's like a little miniature nightclub, isn't it? Do we need to hire staff in here? I mean, you can't really hire staff, so that bar was a bit pointless. It really was, wasn't it? But anyway, we've got to get those good ratings, boys. We've got to get those good ratings. Right, what about for this, then? So, all furniture-wise. Oh, my goodness me, we've got so much more new. Okay, so the, what I've got in right now is a three star. I can get these four stars in. It does then kind of mean revamping all of this. Right, they're not going to like me doing this. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Right, I should pause it real quick. Um, so, as soon as they walk in, they are greeted with one, should I do two? Two stands, okay? Now, do I go for these booths like I've been doing previously? Corner booths, normal booths, tables and chairs like this. We'll go for the booths with the, with the chairs on. So, we'll do one. Um, two and oh, I can't get that third one in. What a shambles! Okay, we do that singular one there. 
We get a couple of tables in here. There we go. And then some table of three, maybe. Why not? And then a couple of table of twos. Uh, on a jukebox as well. All right, I'll place that just over here then. So we got some sweet, sweet sounds coming into your boy's ears right now. So again, that, we've leveled that to level four then. So we're kind of really increasing the experience. Uh, reception area. Was there more stuff I can throw in this? No, this is literally what we've got. Lighting. Oh, of course. We need to add some lighting in. <laughs> Decoration. Uh, again, more stuff to increase. What's going on? Nest the great banners. What's all these banners for? Standing mirrors. Oh, there's so much I've got to throw in, guys. There's so much I've got to throw in right now. But anyway, this has got to do us good for reviews, right? I mean, we've had quite a few decent reviews, but it all comes down to activity. So negative then. So these people could have been when something was going down. I mean, this person stayed here year one, day 26. We're on year three, so that was a while ago. So I, I want to assume that these are our most recent ones. But I've got to increase that activity. So casino next. Anything for you guys? No. Outdoor. Ooh. The lounger for outdoor. So one, two... Maybe that's something else as well that's kind of slacking. Is the fact that the outdoor is not amazing. Can I put this over the door? <laughs> I mean, it's not aligned perfect, but come on. you gotta, you got to take these small little victories, right? Oh, I froze on the game again. There we go. I thought it was game over for a second. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think... No, no, we're okay. No, we're okay. I thought they were blocking the door and they couldn't walk through. I was going to say. Yikes. Alright. Get that one in there. Alright, all good. So trees don't really carry any ratings. We've got these corner borders. We've got these oar rings right now. Can I get that there even though it's... um. Even though it's kind of low-key in the car park. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then any high-rating planters here. So these don't have any ratings. Outdoor lights do. So these little planting beds. Right outside everyone's window. So they have like a, a nice little view. Right, guys, I'm spending some serious cash right now. If they are not happy with this, then I give up. They can go stay at another hotel. But you could argue it blocks the view. But it gives them a little bit of foliage, a little bit of privacy. For, um, for their windows to their rooms. So, I wonder what that's going to do for us. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. So I suppose we just see, right? We just kind of low-key see. Now, guess ratings. Again, we're looking for the activities to increase. Small bladder. Uh, chillaholic. Backpacker. Status right now. So the fun and the gambling. That's pretty low. Do they want more gambling? Like, what, what do they want? Furnish, decoration, events, events, bar, jukebox, dance floor, entertainment. Right, okay, so, oh, a pool. No pool. Television, slot machine, poker table. We've pretty much got all this in. It's like, what more do you need? Enjoy, just enjoy right now. So, maintenance room then. Anything else I can add additional to this? No. Was it the laundry room? No. 
Utilities? Well, kind of yes. <laughs> it's not a no. Oh, a vending machine. Put some vending machines in the foyer. One, two. So storage, so tall shelf, storage shelf. I don't know what storage shelf is for, but I'll put one in each room. So reception desks, pay phone. There we go. Tool shelf, vending machine. So basic vending machine, normal vending machine. That's a basic one. So we got the, the better one out of the two. Washing machine. So we've got all that. Right, they can't say they don't enjoy it now, can they? They can't say they don't enjoy this place right now. So maybe we should slowly start going through all the upgrades to the rooms. Or at least try and build the additional rooms right now. So back to the manage then. Back to the manage. So is this service going up? Not service, sorry. Activities. The quality down here was not good. That was... Wait, hold on. All these reviews are scheduled at different times. How do I view my... This is... Yeah, hang on, hold on. How do I view reviews that we've got recently? So guess here. Retail warehouse cleaner. Oh, that's who they are. So how do I find them? Oh, let me pause. So... L Lois Lou, where are you? Is it you here? No, that's... I don't know who that is. Oh, they're about to leave. So, status. Furniture to die for, apparently. Left no reviews. I think they're going, aren't they? So, how are, how am I reviewing, like, most recent views? Um... So this is all year one. Positive. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> Status. You know what? The fun and gambling's increased. It's actually increased right now. Okay, so this is the majority of the complaints. The staff in this place are clearly overpaid and underworked. <laughs> the service stinks in this place. What do, what do you mean? What do you mean the service stinks? I mean, I can hire an, an additional member of staff right now here. I could hire maybe an additional member of staff. Yeah. Maybe a couple of additional um, housekeeping staff wouldn't go amiss. Yeah. Um, I mean, chefs, I don't think it makes much difference because I need more equipment. But I'll hire four there. Um, we've right, open supplier list. Is there like a four, four star? Oh yes, Jimbo's food. Let's go for Jimbo's. Yo, Jimbo, bring your food in, boy. Right, I hire two staff there. So I'll, I'm overstaffing right now. I know that was one of the complaints. They look overstaffed and underused. But at least we've got like lots of stuff that they can do, if needs be. I still don't really know how to filter these reviews to like early, earliest. There's no option for me to do this. So I guess we'll never know. <laughs> so is it a case of like focusing on my current guests? You. Status. I mean, you, the fun is a lot higher right now. So am I just worrying about nothing? I probably am. I should probably just focus on expanding in the hotel and just bring in more and more facilities, right? Yeah. So, Sadiac. Um, these rooms are... They are... 
There's six by ten. So six by ten. Six by ten. So I'm only getting an additional two rooms in. Now that is a okay on my book. I'll take those two additional rooms. There we go. Nice two additionals. It's a shame we can't have a second floor just yet game. But it's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. So build a wall then. So we've got to go bam. 4x4. Four 4x4. Four. Four four. And then we're going to paint the walls. So we'll first start with the bathrooms then. There we go. We're going to paint the outside of the building. There we go. The inside, which I always get the colors wrong. So let's go uh, patterned. Let's go funky. Um, flooring for this. Oh, I'm not even on flooring, am I? Right, what's the floor in here then? What's the situation? Is it this dark one? Yes. There we go. It's that for outside. The tiles. It's these tiles. Okay. Oh, I missed um the painting here. There we go. Okay, we've got all that set up. It's going to add the windows and doors in right now. And we can start slowly adding in the furniture. So, door-wise... Bam, bam. Spin jitsu. Bam, bam. We're going to add the windows in, which are like these style windows there. Nice. We're almost ready to go. So we've got 5,600 currently in the bank. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why they're not utilizing the both reception desks. No idea why. But everyone wakes up and then the housekeeping goes out and cleans all the rooms. Now we've got multiple housekeeping um, staff. So we should be able to clean a lot quicker. Which is really handy. So I can only imagine good things are happening for us. Well, I'm being sidetracked again. I've got to get the bathrooms done. Um, no, we'll do the bedrooms first. So bedroom bedroom so we'll start here then so all furniture now we're looking at beds we recently got the golden pillared bed thing in which is a four star -er. so we'll bring it right over one two then we went for the bedside tables which are those ones here because they are delectable There we go. We also got in the... Do, 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 do. Oh, mini fridge. Nice. The wardrobes, which went sideways. There we go. We then went ahead and got in the TV, the desk, the mirror, the mini fridge. So, start with the TV. It's a four-star television right there, but I need the one on the box. So one, two. Then the desk came in next. Then we had the mirror and then the mini fridge. So the mini fridge, where are you? Where are you, mini fridge? Why can't I find you? It's right here. We did get the coffee table in, in such an awkward position in front of the TV, which is not my best work. Come on, game. I've broken the game again, guys. I've broken the game again. There we go. We then had the... Oh, we had a little sofa in just there. So that's a double couch there. Four star. Well, I could go for this double couch here, four star. So we'll go for this one because it goes with the theme of this kind of vintage fashion. 
There we go. And then what are we now missing? We're missing the rug and then the two lamps either side. So lamps comes under lighting. What ones did we go for? We went for these ones here with a little bubble on top. And then, of course, we had in the rugs. So nice big rug. Nice big rug. So them rooms are now in, but they do need bathrooms. I'm only 21,000 in the hole. So designate to be an ensuite, designate to be an ensuite. So for the ensuites, then we're looking at the four star ones all over again. So we'll try and replicate what we've done in the other room. That's all I can really do. The sinks. There we go. Spin right round. We then had the shower, the shower, and then finally the bath and the bath. Now are we getting top dollar for this room? Not just yet. So delete the facility. And then if I can do this correctly, bedroom, bathroom. No. So delete facility. Delete. I can't remember what we got to do first. Is the bathroom first? 900. Yes, it is. Still 300. So bathroom, bedroom, 900. Nice. So we've got now two additional rooms now all added in. And they're fancy, boys. They're 900. Big ones, fancy. So back to furnishing them. Outdoor, get those beautiful plants directly outside. And there you go. So just to build those extra two rooms, I'm now 30 grand in debt. Whew! Considering I was five grand in positive before I built them, that just goes to show how expensive the rooms are now becoming. So 12 guests currently in. 12 guests currently in. Now, because I'm in so much debt, do you reckon we should just go the whole hog and get more kitchen furniture in? So, I could get two more stoves in for the extra two chefs. I could get in the corner prep counter or not. Let's just go for the normal prep counter. One there. One there. Now, we've got two sinks, two fridges, two of the serving counter things serving tables so I could put one in the center there one in the center just there flipping around both sides because you just never know uh, prep sink are they called prep sinks is that what they're called yeah yeah uh, refrigerators I could do one here one there there we go all the chefs have now got a little bit more space I'm now 44 grand in debt but like I said Rooms looking a little bit more for fancy. So we should be able to get top dollar as the days go on. Look at how glorious this hotel now is. I have never seen something so glorious in all my life. Magic. Absolute magic right now. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see then if um we can one try and push for full capacity which is quite difficult to do as you get bigger and bigger and bigger so that's where you might have to do like a the odd campaign or two so spend the 25 honorable mentions i got this now activated it does cost a bit of money but we might be able to swing in a few extra guests from it Someone's already staying in that most really, really expensive room down here. 900. Oh, there's two people in it. Ooh. Is that? Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but it uh, makes a huge difference having an extra. It's like an extra 1,800 every night that we make him. So you can't argue with that, right? You cannot argue with this quality. So we're still waiting for these positive reviews. I mean, it's, we don't even have the uh, the bar thing on the right to tell us how far away we are. 
Um, so we just need to keep moving. And it's from the last 30 reviews as well. So, oh, we now got 11 guests. Let's go. Let's go, boys. So budget is shocking. Don't even want to look at it right now because the amount of money we've got we've spent recently. So we've gained uh, a couple extra guests from this advertising, which is really good. So manage guests then. So this person here, not feeling too good. They're probably staying in one of the worst hotel rooms. I mean, it's not the worst worst, but you know what I mean? Uh, unless, no, is she a one-star guest? Is that what it is? I think that's what it means, doesn't it? So, compensate guest. What does that mean? Open room. This is a restaurant chain millionaire. Whew. She's got some money right now. She's sleeping as well, so I can't see anything bad currently going on with her. I don't think any of my rooms are being overloaded. We can, I mean, maybe we need like another um, jacuzzi spa thing. Who knows? Who knows right now? Nobody knows. Nobody. But quality in the rooms. So what could be an issue is, what stopped me from getting those consistent reviews is, you need, let me go back to this, you need 20 positive in the last 30. So I could get like, you know, 18 positive and then 12 negative. And the reason I'm getting those 12 negative is because those are coming from the worst rooms in the hotel. So I need to make those worst rooms even better. But to do it, it all comes down to cash. And you need it from four-star guests. That's another thing as well. So when you come to the guest then, I've only got one, two, three, four. Now, is that down to the fact that uh, your boy doesn't have those facilities? I mean, I've got three rooms at best that are guaranteed four-star bedrooms. So you know what I mean? You can see why it then takes a while to get all those reviews. You can see why it takes a while then. Not only have you got to attract the four-star guests, but then you've got to give them the four-star experience to get a positive review. So is the hotel changing then? The service is slowly going up then, so that's good then, because obviously, you know, we, we increase the members of staff. Staff happiness is not great. <laughs> now, uh, another thing is the quality of staff as well. So it's not always about hiring the cheapest staff. Uh, you see, these are like one-star staff skill. Now, is it possible to upgrade them? I don't fully know. But it's about trying to get, you know, decent rate runs. So I can hire... E Whoa. The cost of hiring those is ridiculous. So manage staff here. So fire you, fire you. Four stars. See, that's the difference, guys. That's the difference right now that we got to be working towards. Getting those four-star staff members. Oh, choose. can I choose the, the supplier in this? Um, four-star. Fine wines. <laughs> and then hire a four-star staff. Now, it's expensive to hire a four-star staff. But again, it's all about quality. Quality staff members give us that quality experience to our guests. So again, staff, uh, I'm going to slowly go through it all because obviously it could be the deciding factor, couldn't it? Now, it does mean it costs me an arm and a leg. It's like that person, original person was $100 a day. Now, listen, it's $400 a day for that staff member. And we'll probably have to do the same in here too. But we'll kind of um, let it tick along first. So 
That should increase my service. Dramatically, it should increase it. I mean, there's still staff members that I need to upgrade and replace. But my average occupancy has now gone up, which is good. Average guest mood, 79%. Let's keep an eye on that. This place needs a makeover. What do you mean? It's beautiful. <laughs> Enter this place at your own risk. What? I mean, yeah, granted, I need to do some lights. Do need to do some lights and maybe make the hallways a bit more furnished. You know, I, 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 that's something that I can't argue. Um, right, let me just quickly go through anyway. So we got like decorative wall stuff. So if I place exceptional, no, good, no, great. Oh, wall mirrors. Right, try and squeeze these into every bathroom. Wherever I can squeeze it in. Okay, that becomes quite handy. But these little bear heads, I mean... I don't know how often I want to place a bear head down. But I'm now just trying to think of stuff in which I can... Add a little bit more decorative feels to. A glass fence? Where would I put a glass fence? Snap to grid. Oh, hold on. I mean, this is one way to, uh, to create. Can I not squeeze that in there? <laughs> Will you not allow me? It's one way to create this nice little effect and then place like a bunch of plants down and whatnot. But um even though I don't know how I feel about this. Because you can't even have them that close. Rotate, snap to wall, align to other objects. You know what I mean? Bit of a weird one. It is a bit of a weird one. Um uh, Outdoor hedges. Oh, that's what I should have done. More of these outdoor hedges. It's a shame you can't merge. Isn't it? It's a shame you can't merge. We'll place a few more plants down. Put a little banner there. Why not? <laughs> Right, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm spending stupid money all over again. Stupid money is now being spent. So, i got to get out of debt. This is the most debt I've ever been in. This is the most debt I've ever, ever been in. I just realized as well, I've got to eventually move this stuff to put a door there to get into that room. <laughs> oh, snap, a 12 out of 12 occupancy right now. This is the first time we've been fully occupied. So the guest mood has gone down. Service has gone up really high. Service has gone up really high right now compared to what it was before. So we got a couple of dollars back right now. Can we see the budget like yesterday? Right. Don't care about that. What I care about is the room income versus the staff costs. That's important. That's important that we keep an eye on that. But this ain't too shabby. It ain't too shabby. I think what we need to do then is slowly creep our way out of debt. And then, and then, like I said before, slowly converting all the other rooms to like being a four-star room. But doing that in itself, you know, it's like cost me like nearly 20 grand a room to do so. So I'm going to need another like, I need 200 grand. <laughs> Almost, aren't I? I need an almost. I need to make. I need to make. I need to make pretty much make a quarter of a million right now to not only get out of debt, but to have then the funds to revamp all those other rooms to a four-star room. And it's just a case of waiting it out until we can get all those guest reviews. 
But the only staff that we haven't turned to four star just yet is the waiters and the chefs. You could argue I've still got way too many uh, staff. Oh, and the housekeeping and maintenance. You can argue I've got way too many staff right now. I don't know whether that's going to have a negative effect on us in the long run. But we're back up to 79% average rating. Really good. Activities has dropped down. I don't know what, what it is about the activities dropping down. Negative. Any of these negatives recently? Oh, yes. Hang on. Any year four? Year three? So what was their issue? It's this, down to the service. I guess we'll never know. But what we do know is, guys, we need to get out of debt. We'll end it for here. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.